I borrowed 12 DVDs and 9 Blu-rays from my local library today. First two are Criterion titles. And this is a movie that I've been wanting to tr give a try for the longest time now. <clears throat> Side number is 1058. Netflix movie released on DVD by the Criterion Collection. And this movie is over 200 minutes long. This movie is for almost three and a half hours long. This is the ver this is the longest Netflix movie ever produced. Put up on February 24, 2021. <clears throat> Sign number is 621. France and Belgium movie from Le Films du Fleuve and R -A -P -A -R -P, released in the U.S. by USA Films. However, the back has the Focus Features logo. I'm guessing the Focus Features logo is going to plaster the USA Films logo on this DVD. Put up in Fe put up in February 2013. Part of the Warner Brothers Pictures Gangsters Collection. Nineteen thirty nine movie. Alfred Hitchcock movie, that's why I borrowed it. Nineteen fifty six movie re renewed in nineteen eighty four. My mom is a huge fan of this movie, so why not borrow this? Plus, this is a movie that I do want to check out as well. Paramount movie, Come Out Warner Brothers and Phoenix Pictures. Put up in put up on February 22nd, 2018. I actually used to have this one, but I got rid of it. The next one's a brand new release. And this is a movie that I really want to check out. Even though I heard it got mostly negative reviews. Screen Gems movie, Call Me a Legendary. And I believe this is the first movie produced under Legendary's new deal with Sony Pictures. Rest in peace to Christopher Plummer who starred in this movie. Serendipity Point Films movie. This one's a Canadian movie. In the U.S. it was released by A24. This one I'm very surprised to have found. Lars von Trier movies. So that's why I borrowed it. And he's the same guy who directed the incredibly messed up Antichrist. And I think this is the only movie of his that's not totally fucked up and weird. I did the opening to this on Amazon Prime Video. Magnolia Pictures movie released on DVD by Entertainment One. And for some reason, this got a PG in Canada, even though this movie contains graphic nudity and sexual content throughout. And it somehow got a G in Quebec, which is even weirder, in my opinion. Case is inverted for this one. I might check this movie out, though, because I like the cast. So, yeah. Next two are crappy VVS DVDs. Sally Moore Pictures movie, Come Out Annapura Pictures, originally released by A24 and released on DVD by that crappy VVS. This one's in an early 2000s case. I did the opening to this one on 2B. I did the opening to this on Super Decon, and this one's laughable, which I'll explain why in a moment. 
And Martin Scorsese was an executive producer on this movie, believe it or not. And this is a movie that I do want to check out because I do like the cast once again. And this movie is directed by Paul Schrader, who, if you don't know, is the writer behind Taxi Driver. Hanway Films movie, originally released by, and you're not going to believe this, originally released by Focus Features, and released on DD in Canada by that crappy VVS. Yep, VVS really had a deal with Focus Features on this movie. That is crazy. Put up in February on February 15, 2022. Did the opening to this on CBC Gem. And this is another movie that I want to check out. Tango Entertainment movie. Released on DD by MO Pictures. I believe it was originally released by Saban Films, if I'm not mistaken. Put up in on July 9th, 2020. Last DVD. This is another movie that I want to check out. Lionscape movie, Comeo Black Label Media, released on DD by Entertainment One. I do know there was a sequel this week called Sicario Day of the Soldado, which that was released by Columbia Pictures. Put up on February 21st, 2019. And now for the nine Blu-rays, which most of these are universal titles. Universal movie, Call Me a Blumhouse Productions and Platinum Dunes. And Michael Bay was a producer on this movie. Put up on October 30th, 2018. Exactly a day from ha till Halloween that year. I did the opening to this on Craven Stupid at Con. This is another movie that I want to check out. And this one's also a brand new title from, from earlier this year. Focus Features movie, and this is now my, I believe my fourth Universal Studio Distribution Services Blu-ray that I borrowed. The other two, the, the other three being, um, the other three being, I'm, gonna, I'm trying to f remember, the other three were, um, Last Night in Soho, Violet Night, and The Northman. Put up on February 9th, 2023, This is a movie I heard a lot of great things about. And rest in peace to Michael Cote, who starred in this movie. He passed away a few months ago. Quebec movie from 2005. Released on Blu-ray by Tevia, of course. Put up on February 3rd, 2022. They had a copy of this on DVD, which was the original 2005 DVD release. I'm pretty sure this... However, this, uh, this copy is from 2021, although I believe these discs are, are going to have the same content as the original 2005 DVD. And that's the only Quebec movie I borrowed today. Another movie that I do want to check out... I'm not a fan of romantic comedy films, but this one specifically is an LGBTQ movie, so that's why I borrowed it. Universal movie, Comey El Patel Productions. I did the opening to this on Stupid at Call. And this is now my fifth Sue Distribution Services Blu-ray. Actually, now this and the next one are my fifth and sixth Universal Sue Distribution Services Blu-rays. Put up on February 27, 2023. I did the opening to this on Nuvo. Case for this one's very, very dark for some reason. Regency Enterprise movie, Call Me with Ubisoft and the Kenny Marshall Company, released by 20th Century Fox. This is based off the video game franchise, of course. 
And I heard this week got mostly negative reviews from critics. Put up in June 2020, June 2017, excuse me. Case for this one's in terrible condition. This next one's pretty surprising to say the least. Shout Factory release. Well, let me see. Yeah, Shout Factory release. And this is another movie that I've been wanting to check out. And I do know this movie had a lot of studio involvement, which actually resulted in this movie becoming a massive financial failure. And this movie is directed by Rachel Talley, who, if you don't know, was a, an executive at New Line Cinema, who also, I believe, directed one of the fr one one of the Nightmare on Elm Street movies, if I'm not mistaken. 1995 United Artists movie released on Blu-ray by Shout Factory. And this movie is quite hard to find on physical media. So I'm pretty pretty happy to have this. And this has reversible artwork. Put up in November 2014. I'm not going to change the artwork because I do not want to, you know, upset the library or anything. This little piece right here doesn't really close all that well. And here's the six studio, studio distribution services Blu-ray I borrowed. Did the opening to this on Crave and Super at Khan. I heard this movie's terrible. Put up in February on February eighth, twenty twenty two. They had the other Saw movies, but decided, they did have other installments of the Saw, fr the Saw franchise, but I decided why not borrow the final chapter, just so I can say this. Um, they just released Saw X in theaters a few weeks ago, I think. I'm not going to bother checking that movie out, so I'm not interested. Twisted Pictures will be released by Lionsgate, released on Blu-ray by Maple Pictures. Put up on in September 2015. Case for this one's in, also in terrible condition as well. Doesn't close all that well. Last Blu-ray. And last video for this update. Sign number is partially covered, but I can read it. It's 721. 20th Century Fox movie, Columbia, Columbia Pictures, which is pretty interesting. And released on Blu-ray by the Criterion Collection. Hold on a second. There we go. Put up in January 2015. Case for this one's also in pretty terrible condition. Huh? 